hello. Uh, this is kind of feels early that uh, we're actually talking about basketball, but uh, we are. We uh, we have an exhibition game this Friday and had a uh, one a close scrimmage last week, and so we're uh, got a lot of new young guys that are really talented that uh, I'm really excited to coach and. We've had uh, we've had a great summer and a great fall, and can't wait to see where we're at with uh, with a lot of these new guys. But um, 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 I haven't had this much fun uh, probably since uh, my second year in coaching. Um, so I'm really enjoying coaching this group and having a good time with them. Talk about having so many new young guys. It's sometimes an opportunity to get a new identity as a team. What is kind of what you're looking forward to being the identity of this team this year? You know, this is a new age of college basketball now. And so um, I felt last year, to be honest with you, a year ago, I, I, I didn't, I wasn't all in on the whole um, NIL and all the other type things. And I realized that you, you can't survive without it. And so uh, so I'm trying something new. I spoke to, a, on the all season, a lot of junior college coaches, guys who every year they get new teams. And so I wanted to talk to them to see how you, for the most part, build chemistry, because that's the biggest part of it. Basketball is still basketball, but uh, this group has really come together. Um, we we're very fortunate to get some good people. Um, we've also got some huge surprises by guys that I didn't think would be ready to play, uh, who are who are having right now outstanding camps. And and uh, you know you love to have two or three of those guys that have really stepped up. And so we've had some guys that do that. And so that really made us excited. We're really talented. It's just can we get that chemistry on the floor together? Just what is your outlook going into this year? Because obviously last year was a – you've been here – you've been coaching a long time, so you've experienced a lot of things. But last year was probably as rough a year as you've, as you've yeah. had as a, as a coach. Yeah. Just, just – yeah, that, that's, that's, that's very fair. Uh, uh, last year was hard. Uh, it was hard on me physically. It was hard on me mentally, uh, just with a lot of different things that happened. Everything that kind of could go wrong went wrong um, with my health, with coaching, with all the guys that we had on our team. It was just, it was a tough year. Uh, and so sometimes a reset is what you need. And so I've, I've, I've had a great summer uh, with these guys. They've come in and, uh, you know, I feel like they're, you know, we feel like an underdog type. You know, I love that role. Uh, but uh, our expectations will never change. I think we have a, we have a team that can compete and, and, and win a championship. We're talented enough to do that. Uh, you know, we need some things to kind of fall into place. We need to stay healthy at certain positions. But um, I've really been here without a true point guard the entire time. And we've got two big time point guards. And that's something, you know, Kevin Cross did a great job for us. But he had to play, he and Sion, for the most part, played point for us for a lot. And so, and that was out of position. Um, but the two point guards we've got in uh, really make things a lot easier. It's like playing, you know, football without having a quarterback. And so uh, we, we feel very confident with the two guys that we've got in the program right now, and, and they've both been outstanding. How important are your holdovers going to be? Like, how, how much does Greg Glenn need to take yeah. steps forward? Because he's a talented guy. Yeah. Um, and, and, some of, and, and some of the other guys there. Yeah, Greg has been great. You know, he's lost that 15 pounds that we wanted him to do. You know, last year he came with a lot of the, you know, that's still that baby fat. It really changed his body. Um, his attitude has been great. Uh, he's playing, you know, I, I think he's playing his best basketball of his career right now. Uh, but that's going to be important. You know, he and Asher, because they know the system. We, we had to dummy down some things in regards to uh, some of the things that we've done. And, uh, 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 but not as much as I thought we were going to have to. Um, I thought even in the scrimmage the other day, I was really pleased with our defense. Um, I, I have not, you know, last year's defense was the worst defense that I've had. I've coached in my 35, 36 years of, of being a head coach. And so, um, but I was really excited about how we're playing defense. I love our athleticism. Um, I love our length. Uh, but Greg and Asher are kind of leading us in that and, and, and still with Percy. So we've still got enough guys that understand the, 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 the culture that we have and uh, kind of explaining it to some of the, the new guys. Do you feel like your team's still going to play the same style that your teams have always? Played? Oh, no question. Yeah. Uh, uh, we, we're probably going to impress a little more than we have before, and uh, but uh, no, they, they, they have, you know, f since June the seventh, they have really picked this thing up. We've really worked on it, worked on it. But um, like I said, I think before I had to get the team together, I had to get me together, and I had to kind of figure me out and figure out, okay, you know, you see a lot of coaches retiring because they just can't fit this whole NIL system. And you know, when you've been doing it as long as some of these coaches have, and myself, you kind of got to make a conscious decision: do you want to be a part of that. And so that's something I had to do. 
And, uh, you know, I, I was always big on, uh, you know, the amateurism part of it, although I, I think kids should be paid in that regards. Uh, but I'm all in now. And, and I'll be honest with you, I wasn't all in with that. And so it's taken me some time to kind of get to that. And even I, and you have to coach them different a little bit also. Uh, it, it's, it's a different world. And if you don't live in that world, then you need to get out of it. So you've always been averse to playing freshman heavy minutes. Do you think that could change this year? What oh, it's definitely going to change. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going, you know, what I decided is I'm going to be calm, cool, and collective. I'm going to sit down a lot this year because we're going to be playing some freshmen that are really talented. So I'm just going to sit and just let them, you know, make mistakes, not yell at them, not scream. I'm just going to sit there and just say, it's okay. Keep turning the ball over. I'm still going to love you. You know, that's the, that's the new Ron Hunter. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> that is absolutely not happening. I'll be running up and down those sidelines uh, as quick as we can get out there. Hey, Coach, you talk about uh, bringing in some new guys, including your son, RJ. Yeah. How exciting is that to have him to the staff? And what, with his experience, what does he bring? It's been great. Um, uh, you know, last time RJ and I had been together was, of course, when the Baylor game and the NCAA tournament and the things we did at Georgia State. And so uh, I'm really excited for him to be here. I know the players are extremely excited, uh, a wealth of knowledge, and, and we're there. They all want to get to where he's been. And so the only negative part about it is he's been living with me for the last week, and that's brutal. That's absolutely – you do not want your child coming back home, especially after they made a lot of money and they've done well. So uh, he and I being roommates have been something that uh, we got to work out. But him being on the floor and helping the guys and, and, and their shooting and, and some things of that nature, it's been a blessing. And so I'm still kind of getting used to actually seeing him, you know, on the sideline with me. But uh, he has definitely enhanced our staff. There's no question about that. Is he running up your grocery bill? Uh, he's run up a lot of bills. Um, yeah, yeah, he doesn't know how to turn off lights, uh, never makes his bed. Uh, he thinks the air conditioning just runs for free. Uh, so we've had a lot of morning chats that uh, we got to kind of get this thing figured out. But uh, it is it's absolutely is I, I'm really enjoying having my son with me in that regards. And it reminds me of the days when when he played and, and we had a we had a pretty special thing going there. And so hopefully we can do that here together. Now, some guys having some good camps, as you mentioned, like who's really stood out from the bunch as you get ready for the game later on this week? Yeah, probably the, the one guy is Cam Williams, uh, who's from the state of Louisiana. I knew he was a good player, and I know, you know, he was ranked and all. Uh, but this kid can really, really play. Um, I, I'm really excited about it. He probably should start, but I'm scared to death to start him because I don't want to mess him up. Uh, but he's going to be a guy that, you know, he'll play 25 minutes a game for us. And uh, just an outstanding player, 6'8", who can really, really shoot it. Um, but what I love about him, he reminds me more of RJ than any other kid I've ever coached. His length, his size, but his basketball IQ. Uh, and that's something that you don't get mostly with freshmen. They kind of got to develop that. Uh, but his basketball IQ is terrific. All right, thanks, guys.